Hi everyone, today is Monday, August 26th, and I'm going to be putting together my September calendar spread and monthly budget so that I know what I'm working with for the month of September. As most of you know, we will be away for most of the month, so I uh, want to make sure that I know what I need to cover before we go away. So what I'm going to do is just start with my monthly spread. Sorry if some of the stuff is a bit faded. Um, I am running out of ink in my printer and I'm trying to be, uh, I don't want to change it out just yet until I absolutely can't read things. So anyway, so what we're going to do is start off with my monthly calendar spread for September. This is uh, an item that I made myself. I have it for sale on my Etsy shop. I'll put the link below. Um, this is my monthly budget planner kind of, uh, uh, product here and it comes with uh, blank undated uh, calendars and household budget page budget by paycheck kind of sheet so you can budget out your paycheck and other things so all right so first of all I start with the month of September and uh, I enter in all the dates so I know that there's 30 dates and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second and uh, I start filling in some of the dates that I know um, we're going to have for paydays. So here I know that I get paid on August 31st for my last paycheck. And on September 6th is going to be a payday for my husband in his corporate job and my casual job. And then I know again, he gets paid again on the 20th and um, i'll get paid on the 15th of the month so because that's on a sunday my paycheck will come on the 13th of september from my corporate job and i'll just add the 20th here and then i'll get paid again on the 30th so let me just uh put these things here so that i know so i'll get paid again on the 30th of september all right so um, I don't have any reminders for myself this month, except that we're away and I know that we're away. Um, and uh, to-do lists, um, I'm going to leave that for a moment and upcoming events, I'm going to leave that for a moment. So I'm just going to grab my little handy dandy uh, tracker sheet. Just one second. All right, there we go. So this is where I keep track of my regular monthly bills. So from here, I just write everything down. All right. So I know on the first of the month, I'm going to have my tax-free savings account come out. And on the fifth of the month is going to be our internet and TV. Mortgage is going to come out on the seventh. And it will also come out on the 20th because it comes out the day after my husband gets paid uh his tax-free savings account contribution also comes out the day after he gets paid pet insurance comes out on the 12th cell phones is on the 16th and hydro oh actually i have another tax-free savings account for me that comes out on the 16th hydro comes out on the 20th natural gas comes out on the 21st and then i have netflix that comes out on the 18th all right so that's all done for the calendar. And now I'm just going to map out when things are coming out. So let me just grab a couple of um, highlighters here. I think I need five. And let's see, we'll do a pink. So for August 31st, these are the bills that are gonna be covered through my paycheck on the last day of the month um, for August. Uh, so I'm going to cover my tax-free savings account and I'm going to cover the internet and TV because those are two things that will come out before we get a paycheck again on the 6th. And then for the 6th here, when we get paid, I'm going to 
highlight everything that comes out before we're paid again. So we have my husband's tax-free savings account contribution, mortgage, and pet insurance. Then on the 13th, we have my tax-free savings account, our cell phones, and Netflix. And then I'm also going to put hydro here, even though I know that my husband uh, gets paid on that day. I like to pay the bills a day or two in advance. Uh, so hydro is one of them. And I'm actually going to put natural gas here as well, just because I, I like to pay a couple days in advance. So on the 20th paycheck, when my husband gets paid, we're going to pay his tax-free savings account, which comes out automatically on the day after, and our mortgage. There's nothing else coming out that week. And then uh, on the 30th, we'll use this pink one, and this will be my paycheck. And right now, I don't have anything that is due coming out. It will come out on October 1st. So I have one more bill that I want to add, and that's going to be coming out on the 1st. And this is in part to do with my um, independent travel agent uh, training that I'm doing. I'm uh, training to be an independent travel agent for a side job. And um, I sold my first cruise a couple weeks ago, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but uh, I do have a monthly subscription fee with the company that I am an independent consultant for that comes out once a month. So I'm going to add that here. So I'm just going to um, put IA, and that means independent agent, uh, travel, so that I know. And I'm going to add it here. IA travel. I'm just going to put subscription. And that will be on the first of the month, and that's $22. So I'm just going to actually put subscription there so I remember because this is a new, um, a new uh, subscription that's coming out. So, all right. So I will just add a color line there for that. And that uh, is my monthly spread for uh, planning out um, September. So I'm just going to tuck this aside. And next I'm going to grab my household budget. Um, again, this is in the package that I have on my, um, my uh, Etsy shop here. And I'll grab my calculator so that I have everything. And I might have to move a few things around. So let's see here if I can move little little piggy and here we go I think I think that works out well I'm going to grab these highlighters because I don't need them right now all right there we go good thing I'm right-handed huh <laughs> all right so for the household budget what we're going to do I'm going to put September And then uh, I'm not going to worry about the rollover because that's just something that I'm going to keep in my checking account. Hopefully I don't use it. So I'm just going to leave that for now. So I'm just going to leave, like I'm just going to block that off. So for my husband, he gets paid $17.30. So 17, well, he gets, his contribution is $17.30 every payday. So that'll be $34.60. And mine is going to be 1880. It's this time of year. I noticed on my last paycheck it went down by a couple of dollars. So I'm just going to put 1880 uh, plus 1840. So I'm expecting 3720. And then for my casual job at this time, I'm not going to add anything because I don't know how much I'm going to be getting paid. Also, I'm away for most of September. So um, the last paychecks I'm going to receive is uh, likely the one that is going to be, I'll get one on the 6th of September and I'll get one on the 20th just for um, a couple of days, I think for the Sunday and Monday that I'll be working um, on the long weekend. And then I won't get another paycheck again until I'm back and I start working again. So I won't get another one until probably mid-October. So that is what I'm going to be working with right now. We don't have any savings used at this time. So let's just map everything out. So for cell phones, I put $80. 
it's usually a little bit less, but I'm going to uh, put that down. So I'm going to uh, actually what I should do is total everything up here first. So we'll be working with $7,180. So I'm going to subtract 80. And then pet insurance is going to be 120. I think it's 126. Natural gas, I'm going to put 55. Hydro is going to be 88. Now it has gone down to $81 a month, but I don't know why. So I'm just going to aim on the high side. This is the contractual rate that we have. We pay an equal payment plan throughout the year. I noticed that they dropped it uh, back in July to $81. I'm not sure if that's the new contract rate, but I'm just going to keep $88 in there for now. And I just want to quickly make sure that I have subtracted that because when I get talking, I forget if I've done that. All right, so I have 6831 working to work with. So our mortgage payment is going to come out twice that month. Um, so that'll be $2,400. And it's a little bit less than that, but we top up um, to make an extra payment. That didn't work out very well, did it? Um, so let me just do this again. So we top up a little bit to make an extra payment so that more of the extra payment what right now um, at our lowest lower interest rate will go towards the principal. Um, we know that's going to change um, when we have to renew next year. Our interest rate is likely going to go up double what we're paying right now. So uh, we just wanted to get on top of things if we could. So all right, so I'm left with 4431 and then we have um, internet and TV. So that's going to be $125. And then Netflix is $19. And then my uh, travel agent subscription is going to be $22. All right, so that leaves me with $42.65. Then I know I have two uh, in tax-free savings account uh, contributions coming out. So that'll be $200 because I put hundred dollars each contribution my husband will put fifty dollars a contribution so his will be a hundred for our windows we're going to put a hundred and over here under uh, jeep maintenance um, my husband uh, puts twenty five dollars a paycheck towards that so that'll be fifty dollars that he will be putting aside and then for his personal vacation, that's going to be, he puts $50 a paycheck, so that's going to be $100. And these missing lines here, just because my printer is running out of ink in the actual item on Etsy, it actually prints out nicely. All right. So from there, we have $37.15 remaining. So I'm going to put $25 towards our buffer because I like to slowly build that up each month. For my sinking funds, I'm just going to leave that for a quick second. Um, for um, my wallet, I put $55 aside for my wallet. I'm going to um, put, uh, that's going to be $110 that's going towards my wallet um, for the month of September. That money will likely transfer into my um spending money for my personal spending money while we're traveling in Ireland. Um, but for now, it's just, I'm just going to put that there. So we have 3180 remaining. And for insurance, now car insurance, I'm just going to see if I can find my paper. All right, so for car insurance, um, in the month of um, August, because we're due in that that was due in August, um, I don't think I'll have to put anything down because in my uh, last month pay period for August, I'm going to put the balance remaining towards insurance. So that will be a different video. So I'll just tuck this aside for now. All right. So moving on, we have um, fuel. So fuel, 
most of that is going to, we're not going to be here. So we're going to put pretty much everything um, that we have towards Ireland. So I'm just going to zero that out and groceries the same because we're gone for most of the month. I'm not going to put anything into groceries. Um, we're going to use that money towards Ireland because we have a $10,000 goal. And right now we are so close. I'll just, I'll pull out the binder and uh, see where we're at. Um, so for insurance, I'm not going to worry about anything for insurance and property tax. We'll start saving for property tax when we get back from Ireland. And so really what's left is our joint sinking funds um, and our joint my savings funds. So for my sinking funds, I usually give myself $410, uh, sorry, $210 a paycheck. So that's $420. So I'm just going to put $420 here. And again, this is probably going to go towards my personal spending if I want to buy some clothes or anything. Um, I do have uh, some money that I need to put aside for um, a payment um, that I made. I bought, I bought a couple of tops. Um, so I'll put some of that, I'll use some of that to, to pay for that. So I put that on my credit card. So I want to make sure that I pay it that off before I go. So, uh, let's just see where we're, what we're working with here. So we know we have 7180 for, um, what we're working with. So I'm just going to quickly tally up what I can so far. All right. Oh, before I forget my car loan, I need to put $200 for my car loan because that comes out of my, um, my paycheck as well. So All right, so for expenses, I have 2915. So I'm just going to write that here, 2915. And for our expected budget will be 7180. For tax-free savings account, that's going to be $300. For um, the extra debt, car loan, windows, I know that's going to be $300 because, again, I'm not going to add anything here because I don't know what I'm going to be getting paid for my casual job. So that'll be $300 for debt. Buffer, I'm just going to leave for now. And Jeep maintenance, all of the savings, I'm just going to leave for now. So I know that I'm working with, uh, let's clear this out, 7180 minus 2915 minus 300 minus 300 minus 25 minus 420 minus 110 minus 50 minus 100. So that leaves me with 2960 for everything else. So for Ireland, I know that I will have, let me just grab my binder here because that will give me a more accurate total. Okay. So right now in Ireland, um, this is before I put any money aside from my uh, paycheck on the 31st or the, uh, the yeah, the 31st of August. Um, we have $8,572 saved from the $10,000. I don't think I'll be putting enough into like most, a lot of money into my, um, into Ireland on that paycheck. Uh, only because uh, we're covering some money for insurance that I forgot about. So what I'm going to do is just basically put the balance towards uh, Ireland on this household budget and um, we'll see how that goes. So 10,000 minus 8572, if I'm doing quick math, that'll be $1,428. So 1428 is what I'm going to subtract. All right, so that leaves me with 1532 for our sinking funds. So I'm just going to put that in here. So 1532. And we'll see if everything adds up once I 
do the totals here. So let me just uh, tuck this aside. This number may change depending on how uh, my budget looks when I'm doing um, the end of uh, the month of August's paycheck. Because as we're filming this, it is August 26th, and I'll probably film my um, budget uh, video, budget with me video, either later on tonight or tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Okay, so let's add up the cash envelopes here. So we got $25, oops, $25 plus 420 plus 1532 plus 110. That's $2,087. And then for savings, we have 50, 14, 28, and 100. So that's 1378. And we'll see if this matches. I have a feeling it might not. I might have made a mistake, but um, we'll soon find out. All right, so I have $7,180 in, in inflow minus 2915 for expenses minus 300 for investing minus 300 for debt minus $2,087 for cash envelopes minus $1,378 and that leaves me with $200 remaining. So see, I think I made a mistake somewhere. So yeah, I definitely made a mistake there. So let's just calculate that again. So that's $50 plus $1,428 plus 100 is 1578. So that's 1578. And now I think it'll it'll balance out. But just to be on the safe side, 7180 minus 2915 minus 300 minus 300 minus 2087 minus 1578, zero. Perfect. So we have a zero base balance, uh, zero budget balance, whatever you call it. <laughs> and uh, we're looking good. So I think from there, um, it's a good, it's a good start. I know having the 1428. Now I'm not sure when that money will come out. Likely most of this money will come out on my September, um, my September 13th paycheck, which is still good because, um, we will just be at the start of our vacation. And we do, like I said, we do have over $8,500, uh, saved right now. That also included the flights that we purchased and everything. So we don't have that much in our bank account, but we do have everything else like for our spending, uh, our spending money, our personal spending money, our car rental money, our, uh, we've already paid for all our accommodations already. Um, so that's good. So probably from, from the money that we have saved so far, we have probably about $3,000 remaining in the bank. So I'm feeling pretty good about, um, about uh, our trip and not overspending. Um, I will keep track on my um, monthly budget tracker sheet. Uh, that's the one that I purchased from the company in Vancouver called The Line. I have a link uh, in my um, uh, description below and uh, they were so kind to give me um, a coupon code for 10% off if you wanted to go check that out. It's not a sponsored video, but uh, um, I love their products, and um, so they they uh, graciously gave me a 10% off coupon code. So if anybody buys anything, just make sure you uh, check out, uh, you use uh, the coupon code for that to save yourself 10%. Um, anyway, so that is it for this budget. Um, I'm feeling really good. I, I'm confident. I will be, it's just super exciting that we're going to have the money for um, Ireland, because if you've been following me along in this journey since I started, I think it was December 29th of 2023, we started actively saving for Ireland. Um, a couple months earlier, we paid for our flights in Ireland. We basically had zero dollars remaining um, uh, after our flights were paid for, and uh, we just just started saving from scratch the rest of the money. Um, so it's been exciting. There's been times where we're like, are we going to make it or not? Uh, I've got to be honest, uh, forgetting about my car insurance uh, in October really threw me uh, because that's $1,100 and um, that I was so disappointed in myself for forgetting about that. But that's what happens. And at least we were able to cover it without going into debt, um, further debt. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. 
So anyway, the videos in September are going to be probably few and far between. It'll probably be more like shorts and everything because we're going to be on the road. I don't know how much the internet uh, I'm going to have. I will do um, I will do on my April on my August 30th paycheck uh, budget with me. I'm likely going to include a couple of paydays in the month of September with that um, because we're not going to be pulling out any cash. Um, uh, for that until we're in our trip. Most of the, I won't be pulling out money to do like a cash stuffing for saving for Ireland or anything like that. Um, but I will pull out, uh, some cash for other things that we'll need before we go. So, um, anyway, uh, I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.